draw a reflection on a coordinate grid. When you do this, the, the most important thing you have to understand is where your line of reflection is. In number four, it tells us the y-axis is going to act as our line of reflection. Sometimes I think it's, it's better to just trace that and make sure you understand where your reflection line is so that you can see that this figure to the right of the reflection line is going to get flipped over and I'm going to have something that ends up over here on the left. Now to actually draw that reflection, uh, remember you're going to kind of go step by step based on the vertices, the, the corner points of the image. So I've got four corner points, A, B, C, and D. A and B are both lying on the line of reflection. Okay, so if you think about how far away they are from that line, you'd say they're a distance of zero. Which means when we reflect them over that line, that same distance of zero is going to make it look like it didn't change. So point A, and now the new point A prime, that's part of the, the new prime image, are going to be in the same spot. So A and A prime are both going to be right here. B and B prime are both going to be right here. However, C and D are going to be in different spots. What you can do is measure exactly how, how many units over uh, C is from uh, the line of reflection. In this case, it's one, two, three units over, straight out from uh, the line of reflection. And so we can go one, two, three units straight out in the other direction, and that's where C prime is going to be. The same thing happens up here for D, one, two, three units straight out to the right. So we go one, two, three units straight out to the left. That's D prime. So we had A, B, C, D as part of the, the pre-image. We now have, I'll mark this as A prime and B prime in the same spots, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. And if we wanted to connect those we could connect them and you see we have the same uh, identical image on either side of the line.